Okay, so what we have on the screen right here is the Apollo Solo uh, mixer. And as you can see, uh, with the, the green level LED meter going up, I've got this thing set. Now, I always put my uh, listening level to zero, to zero, right around zero. Up here in this section is real important. Uh, we don't want this microphone to go to any much further hotter. Now, we could bump this line level. I mean, I'm going line level in because I'm using uh, the Audio-Technica through a mic pre, through a... Um, um, compressor and the, going line level out of the compressor into the uh, line first channel of this uh, Apollo solo and then we're setting that level with this line level adjustment and this is um, this Apollo is set up to go into Pro Tools right now and so now that I've got a good level in here and it's not really you know hitting the red or anything so we know we got a good level coming in it sounds good and everything so now we jump on over to the Pro Tools screen alrighty and uh, we do it here and there's the mix level of Pro Tools so I'm gonna highlight the last channel before I hit my uh, subgroups and my master the last audio channel and I'm going to go up here and create a new track alrighty and uh, let me pop that screen up so you can see it there so it's a one mono audio track set to samples and it's it's an audio track uh, I can change the name here and I'm gonna label that to be BGV one and I've added it there there it is there alrighty then you have to go up and uh, so just just for grins I'm gonna show you that the uh, hardware that I've set up is this universal audio Thunderbolt so that's what Pro Tools is looking at f as an interface so now I go up to my channel that I created here and you go up to the input output section hit there and I make sure I chose channel one right now it's for some reason it it came on as channel two uh, checked but I'm checking channel one so because that's what channel I have the mic plugged in in the solo now the way you can check is you can turn the um, monitor um, input output uh, button on and now I can see audio coming to Pro Tools so I know that if I turn the um, record button on you can just do that too turn the record button on you can see it and it's ready to go now I always make sure that I zero this fader uh, and the way you do that is hit option no matter where it is if you hit option and you click it it's gonna go to zero which is unity in Pro Tools alright so we know that audios gonna come into Pro Tools and it's gonna go from the Apollo and then it's gonna leave Pro Tools and go back to the Apollo because the Apollo is the way to get audio to speakers, um, headphones, and that type of thing out of pro in and out of Pro Tools. All right.